the weather's still pretty cold in Cincinnati, but there were a couple garage sales to go to this morning, even though it was like 30 degrees. Uh, I found a handful of things, most notably this bowl right here. I almost walked off without it, actually. Uh, I had bought a few things and was loading it all up and, you know, circled around one more time and found this bowl and another bowl and I paid a buck fifty each for them and looked it up later and figured out what it was. So here's the marking on the bottom. Uh, it's marked Sterling right there. And then it says Emelon Bobinga. At first I thought that might have been like a name or something. So, you know, I was doing some research. Uh, turns out it's an artist, uh, actually a sculptor, Emil Milan. And the Bobinga is a type of wood. Um, I can only find one listing uh, that matched it. This is on Worth Point. Now, I guess there were two tongs originally, but I've only got one of them. But yeah, this one sold for 350 Back in 2013, so it's been five years, um, some of his stuff nowadays is selling around 200 So I think I might just try to start this thing off high and uh, see what happens. It is now Friday. Uh, and I'm hitting some yard sales. It's only like 40 degrees outside, but there is a neighborhood sale I'm gonna go to, and a couple other sales too. So, um, garage sale season has begun, finally. Gosh, seemed like it took forever this year. Uh, update on that mid-century modern Emile Milan bowl that I showed you guys, I sold it. It sold less than 24 hours after I listed it. I listed it for $400 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $350. So I went ahead and took it. Um, there, was, there was only the one sold in the last five years that I could see and sold for $350. Bucks. Um, so I was pretty happy to take that. I paid $1.50 for it. <laughs> I think that's easily my best flip of the season so far. Uh, or of the year, I guess, really, for one item. Uh, pretty crazy. So I'm going to get that shipped out today. I I would call it a bolo, uh, but I don't know how many of them are out there to really find. You know what I mean? I think that was just kind of a just a lucky find of, uh, of a weird, rare bowl. Just kind of right place, right time kind of thing, I guess. I just got a phone call. Uh, the guy says, hey, I saw your van driving around the neighborhood, and I've got some old furniture for sale. Uh, he says he's got an old chest of drawers and an old roll-top desk. So I'm going to swing by there and uh, check those out for you. He says they're in like a big pod thing in his driveway. I guess they're moving. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone's serious, but it's got the good galvanized chassis underneath it, so it won't rust out. What year is it? 65. Hey, Mr. Miller. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm not in trouble, am I? No, I told my wife to come up, see what you have. I'm back at the warehouse. Uh, I'll show you guys everything I got. I got this killer Jimi Hendrix poster for three bucks. Uh, I got a PlayStation 2 fat one. Um, it's got the power cord and the uh, AV cord, memory card, but no controllers, no games. I actually paid 10 bucks for it. I might pay a little too much for that. Got a little uh, voice recorder um, for three bucks. It's a Memorex, which isn't a good brand, but if you find these, they can bring some pretty good money sometimes. Olympus and uh, Sony are the better brands for these. This is just a little metal uh, match safe. Got this Sony DVD recorder. It's got the remote and the owner's manual. Uh, paid 15 for it. Should get about 90, I think, for that. Paid a quarter for this little uh, Poker game, it's worth about 10 bucks. I got all these little Mario Amiibo figures. I don't think they're super valuable, but I got them all for five bucks. This was probably my best find. This is an Escort Passport IQ GPS and radar detector. I paid 25, should get around 200 for it. Got this Rawls Chapman bobblehead for three bucks. Uh, I got some Cobra walkie talkies for a dollar. Uh, car kit for three. I got this JVC DVD recorder for three bucks. This will sell for about 120. 
got some Woody Hayes books from the 70s. They're signed by the authors. Uh, unfortunately, not Woody Hayes. I wish it was signed by Woody Hayes. Uh, they'd be worth probably 150 bucks or more. I paid 50 cents a piece for these. I uh, got an iPod. I think it's fourth gen. I paid five bucks for it. Seems like it's working. 1956 Clue Game. Uh, I paid a dollar for that. And I paid three bucks for this lacrosse stick. I also got a couple pieces of furniture. Uh, this is an antique trust chest of drawers. They refinished it and painted it and actually did a pretty good job. It looks really good. Let's see if I can pull that up with one hand or not. I think that says true type. I can't really tell. I have to do a little bit more research on it. Uh, but I got this piece and I got this fold down desk. I paid 75 for the pair. He was asking 150. This is actually the guy that uh, saw my van in the neighborhood and called me and, you know, let me come in and take a look at it. Got a slidey projector set up and a screen and everything. I'm going to do a little slideshow with all those old rock slides. Piles separate. You know, okay. you have three little piles there. Hey, Eric. He said he's got somewhere to be at four. You ain't got time? All right. No rock and roll for you. I recognize the face, I just don't know the, the guy. There's a great shot right there. That's awesome right there. That Edgar Winter's the one with the white hair. Oh my gosh. That's um, Grace Slick. This is Jefferson Starship. Actually, not Starship, Jefferson Airplane before they became Jefferson. That's awesome. Playing the sax. The albino as your winner. Oh my gosh. It is. That's Joe. Ooh, I just got shivers. Who is got, it? I just got goosebumps. That's Joni Mitchell. <laughs> oh yeah, it is Joni Mitchell. Oh, that's awesome. What an outfit. All the W's for winter, I just caught on to that. Uh -huh. We are checking out a local brewery yes. as a farewell party for Wendy for her old job. I told him not to embarrass me with vlogging. Yeah, nobody's here. How's your beer? That's it for this video, guys. Check us out on the Reseller Six Pack Show, uh, Sunday night, 8 o'clock. It'll be on Tanya's channel this week. That's Thrifty Treasures. See you guys there.